Now that I've declared that I'm going for the CCIE Enterprise exam itself, it's time to talk about how we break down what the actual lab topics are, and that's what this video is all about. The CCIE lab examination is no joke. It's a day-long journey. You, you spend an entire day in a lab building something up, tearing it down, troubleshooting it, the whole nine yards. And it covers a tremendous number of topics. And that's what I wanna talk about in this video. You see, I like to think that the CCIE lab exam is really just encompassing of all of the CCNP level exams. You see, now we have the Encore and then what I like to call electives, things like the SD-WAN, the Inato, the wireless exam, there's design, and then there's the NRC, the advanced routing and services exam. I like to think that the CCIE lab exam is a combination of all of those with the exception of wireless. I don't really see any wireless on it. In fact, let's bring up some exam topics and talk about it. I've got the CCNP page pulled up here and you can see I'm gonna click on CCNP Enterprise and we can take a look at the exams that break down each one of these. We've got, of course, the Encore. This is what's mandatory for getting both your CCNP as well as your CCIE because the Encore counts as the written portion of the CCIE. And in a lot of ways you would think, well, the Encore, that must cover all of the same topics that the CCIE does. If we actually click on Encore, we can take a look at the exam topics real quick. And in a lot of ways it does. It covers architecture, virtualization, infrastructure, network assurance, security, automation. The CCIE lab exam does cover all of these topics, but much, much, much more detail. And that's really what these optional elective exams that I like to call them, that's really what they're all about. They're all about going into that detail. There's advanced routing and services. I think the key word right there is advanced. This is gonna go deep into OSPF. Nope, not OSPE, OSPF, E-I-G-R-P. I was already thinking ahead there. BGP, all of the services and security features. This is really an advanced level exam. And in a lot of ways, this is what would really set you up for the previous CCIE, the CCIE routing and switching. But these exams have changed now. It's not just about routing and switching anymore. It's a lot more involved with what your role is or the environment that you work on. I mean, when what happens in an enterprise, the enterprise is going to have software defined solutions now. The enterprise is going to have automation. The enterprise is going to have wireless. So the Encore does set a fantastic foundation for you. It is intermediate level, it's not introductory. It will be a challenging exam. But in order to prepare for the CCIE, the remaining bullet points, I'm actually going to tackle these exams, the NRC exam, the SD-WAN exam, the design exam, and I've already tackled in auto. Now, why am I skipping over wireless? I'm gonna talk about that when we actually get to the CCIE lab exam blueprint. But for now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm studying for the Encore exam, but in a lot of ways, I'm skipping ahead to these other portions to prepare me for the Encore exam. You see, I could learn the fundamentals of BGP and go a little deep into OSPF or EIGRP, or I could master them now by reading those portions of the NRC textbook. Not only will that really set me up for success in Encore, it will also start as a preparation method to get me to the NRC exam. So this week, I am actually reading the NRC textbook on BGP in order to prepare myself for the Encore exam. But eventually I will shift back to the Encore textbook and continue watching other nuggets with CBT Nuggets. Now I'm very lucky that I had access to all of our Encore Nuggets for this whole time that we've been making it. So I have watched a tremendous amount of this course already, but I'll watch it again. I'll lab things again, and that's how I'll tackle it. So right now I'm doing a little bit of NRC works when it comes to BGP, but I will shift gears back to doing straight up Encore studying before I take that exam. Now I'd like to take the Encore exam by October, 2020. I'd then like to take the NRC exam by December, 2020. I would like to start recording the SD-WAN exam for CBT Nuggets. I don't know when, I'm just gonna put fall 2020 there. And then I'd like to take that exam somewhere around February 2020, or I'm sorry, 2021. I've already taken in auto, so we'll just, you know, check mark that. And then I don't know if I'm, I would take the design one. Maybe I probably will just to test myself, um, but I did buy this textbook. So I'll certainly read it and prepare for this. 
all of this is setting up for a one year timeline to get to the CCIE lab exam. Now let's take a look at the CCIE lab exam breakdown too. Here's the CCIE enterprise infrastructure exam topics, and they really do look a lot like the same bullet points that we saw when we were looking at the Encore exam. But if we expand it out, there's a lot more topics listed here. And that goes to show that it's not enough to learn the hello world when it comes to this. You have to know every single detail. I mean, look at how many bullet points are listed here in portion one network infrastructure. This is, this in itself is a humongous exam, just the first domain, and it accounts for only 30% of your total score. Let's say you survive BGP, OSPF, EIGRP, you then break out of all of those things, and now you have to really know DNA Center. And there's not an exam on just DNA Center, is there? Nope. That's why I bought the SD Access textbook. It doesn't come out until August, but I went ahead and pre-ordered that. Here's Cisco SD-WAN. This is that ENSW, nope, DWI exam. But I'm gonna go way out on a limb here and assume that this section, this 2.2, goes deeper than what's covered in the ENSWDI. DW, that's so hard to say, DWI. What? You break out of the software defined infrastructure second section, and now you're getting down to transport technologies, MPLS, like layer three VPN. In the NRC exam, this was just describe layer three VPN. Now you need to know how to configure and implement it. DM VPN, needing to know how all of that works end to end. And these, these are not small topics. These are big topics in and of themselves. These could be their own exam again, and it only counts towards 15% of the exam total. Security and services, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? Look at this, this is a lot. All of the things that support your infrastructure, rather than the core functionality, all of the additional services that you may take for granted, that's what's listed in this section. And then of course, there's infrastructure automation and programmability, you know, not to be cocky, but I feel pretty good about this section. If you really think about it, if you really look at all of this, there is a year's worth of studying here, isn't there? And it does make sense to see how the Encore, the NRC, the EN, here we go again, SDWI exam, the design, because you are going to have to be building all of this, and the automation, that's how it all plays into this. What was the one thing that I said I was going to circle back to? Wireless. Where is wireless in any of this? Wireless has these CCNP optional level exams, but when I actually bring it up here, I don't see any wireless. There's no wireless here on the CCIE Enterprise exam. That really kind of caught me off guard and surprised me. I think that goes to show you again how important automation is because maybe they got to a point and they said we had to pick one and they chose to put in auto level content in there instead of the wireless level content. I don't know. Or maybe they're going to sneak the wireless content in there after all. I mean, it's not unreasonable to think that they would put that stuff in there. If I scroll back up to the layer two section after all, I do see that they put things like voice VLAN in there. And while there's not communication and collaboration stuff, there's still a little overlap right there in that one little voice VLAN command. So that's my take on breaking down the CCIE lab exam. What do you think? Am I way off base on this? Have you taken the exam? Can you share your info with me? Let me know if you think I'm on the right path. This is going to be evolving a lot, right? There's a lot of going on in the next year. There's a lot of content that we just broke down here. And as I dig into these things, I may have to dig into them even further. Now, what are the tools that I'm gonna be using to help me study for this? What are the books? What are the labs that I'm doing? That's what the next video is gonna be all about. But this has been breaking down how I'm initially tackling the CCIE Enterprise Lab Exam. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.